Got a UFC episode today. I'm here with Marvin, the Italian dream Vittori to talk about the Sean Strickland upset of Israel Adesanya. Thanks for being here, brother. For sure, man. Of course. All right. That's right, folks. Change the speed. We're here with UFC fighter Marvin Vittori, the Italian dream to talk about his reaction to Sean Strickland beating Israel Adesanya and where he sees the middleweight division going. God bless you guys. Dream Rare podcast starts now. It's the Dream Rare Podcast, welcome to the show The way to get the news at the desk or on the road Let's go, God is great and success in our control The world is crazy but we get better from our Alright man, I appreciate you being here So I watched the fight on Saturday and it was thrilling man What was your first reaction when you were watching it? I mean, you know, like I, I know Strickland man Like it's, uh, I knew if it's, if he wasn't going to give me too much respect that he could have pulled it off and uh man he, he did way more than just pulling it off he just he walked he walked him down the whole time and just uh did he did good man he, he did he did well like uh, and uh yeah man like even like some i see a little bit like oh easy wasn't on and it wasn't easy wasn't on like listen not you can't take anything away from from what he did and uh he easy wasn't on because he didn't make him on you know make made, made him like a, he didn't let him like turn on you know so right he did well i was gonna ask you that because i know because israel's such a legendary champion that a lot of people are like yo he must have had an off night maybe he's hurt this and that but watching it live like you said i mean the defense was there he walked him down it just felt like a pure chess move where izzy had nothing even in the corner i think he was saying to his uh trainer they had him on the mic like i can't find my jab i can't find my jab so do you think people aren't giving yeah. Strickland the credit he deserves uh, Strickland has a very unique style, and and uh, she never sparred him before. Like she never like, uh, uh, under, like you know, I got hours of sparring with him, and but like if, if she never did that, you don't understand like the the the, the real estate game in in the in the cage. Uh, by real estate, I mean like you know, like not giving up any space. He's gonna eat that, and he just you just you just gonna find yourself like running around from one side to another, and. And and uh, and him walking you down, so that's why like he wasn't he wasn't picking up because you can say things, but your your like your coach is and he's not in there and he doesn't. It's weird. Like he, he has a very unique style. You cannot really like, um, you know, like I got things that when I do with him, I do I do well, but they wouldn't transfer to other people. Like he has a very unique style. So if you have not fight, fought him before, he's very like. Uh, uh, he's very weird, and and, uh, and and listen, he he did good, man. <laughs> and that was like you know, uh, at the same time, bro, like you know, like he, he's he's where I want to be. So you know, at the same time, he's like you know, I, I, he's, he's you know, I, I I respect what he did, and I you know, and, and I'm happy for him too. Especially he's making you know, he like he shook off the he shook off the division a bit, and. Um, but obviously, you know, like I know I you're hungry, right? Like, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. You're hungry to keep it moving. I I want to say with his sparring real quick before we move on. <laughs> like some people say, he's a dirty sparrer. He goes too hard. Like in in your experience, do you think so or no? Um, no. Actually, funny story. Like, if he hurts you in sparring, like like if he does some crazy shit in sparring, it's because he wants to do some crazy shit in sparring. It's because he just spars basically he's training he's just sparring so he knows how to spar so he, he does not if he wants to be like clean he's gonna be clean the whole time like i barely got hurt with him but one time i did because he's still not gonna admit it like not like today but this is like three four years ago he had bought me and he opened me up and then i'm like uh um, motherfucker, why did you head bother me you know and you know you shouldn't have put your, your head down <laughs> and I lost it there, and I just took off my gloves and just went to punch him. Uh, but 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 we were in a UFC gym, but this is like four or five years ago. <laughs> but he does the punch, and then um, and then uh, he came at me, but then they divided us and all that. But yeah, it was a funny short story. But um, no man, listen, at the end of the day, like no man, like he knows how to spar, like. And I prefer him where, because you know, like you, you know, what you're gonna get from him. Then a, lo a lot of other guys were like, "Oh, like I'm hurt here." Like, like they, 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 they get you into like thinking like you can't go hard, and then they, 
they go like crazy like you know like they they they, they hit a switch right away and they pull off like some crazy move where like you're not like you're not ready because it is sparring and almost everything is allowed within the rules obviously but in, in terms of intensity you can go as hard as you can but some people are like oh don't kick me here like my, my elbows are like this is her so you kind of like uh like you know I'm, i gotta I, i'll have to take it easy with these guys and then all of a sudden they just like hit a switch on you and just like go crazy and then and i don't like that i you know like with with, with strickland is way more honest you know you what you're gonna get and I, I i was raised like that too like i was always and that's why like listen light heavyweight heavyweight i don't care i just go and then uh yeah i mean we either go very light like almost like drilling kind of pace and, and i and, and i'm like listen at this level like there is no guy at this level that don't know like we could all go with like 125 hours if we wanted to so and and, and especially strictly he just spars so he definitely know how to spar um but yeah i prefer that that you know what you're gonna get from him then some other guys were like you know they pull you into like thinking oh it's gonna be easy and then they they switch it up you know i could tell how passionate you are and i know you're gonna get the belt one day and and i know i could just see in your mindset now where you're like yeah it's cool he won but i'm i'm ready to get back to work before I ask about your next fight, because I'm wondering what you're thinking, I want to talk about the last one where you were posting videos in Italy. Like, if, it felt like a couple of days later and your face looked completely fine. Like, you got, you must have some sort of superhuman genetics, bro, where like you look like 100%, you were partying out there and stuff. Like, yeah, like I, I got a thick skin, man. Like, I, I, the way I came up, like, you know, like the way I came up, I came up the hard way, you know, like it's, there, there is never really like time to like, like you know like for compassion or shit like this fuck it you know like <laughs> this is you know in it in italian we say uh uh you you wanted the bike now you got to pedal and that's how it is you know like you you chose this sport we chose this life you cannot be like you know like 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 um just saying like you know this is hard like like fuck we have to do this we have to do that bro like this this is the game and uh but yeah, I mean, you know, like I got a thick skin for sure, and uh, that's that's one thing I definitely proved throughout my throughout my career. Um, Someone said it's the it, olive oil. Yeah. They said it's the olive oil in the comments. <laughs> no, <laughs> my be you know, olive oil is very healthy, so <laughs> it's good. Unless it's unless it's raw, it has to be a raw olive oil. If it's cooked, if it's burnt, it's not good. But if it's raw, it's good what's your next play like what now that the whole division's kind of shooken up like what do you think's next for you i'm gonna disappear for a little bit and, and and see how it plays out because uh yeah man for too long i just uh took too many you know like too many too many choices both like you know like always like chest out fucking balls to the wall and like kind of like just like whatever just get like i listen no, didn't turn on a fuck like not one single fight never pulled out from any fight just anybody anytime like anywhere like literally like, for real like a lot of people say but i can actually fucking say for real for real like never turned out a fucking fight there was a moment in my career where like seven or eight times um they was rescheduled or people pulled out the day off rescheduled again change of opponent and every single fucking time I was there. So, you know, like it's um, now with this kind of experience um, is about making the right decisions. And um, yeah, man, 100% focus on myself. And uh, I think the next move in October, I'll, I'll go out in, uh, in Russia for, for, for a month in Dagestan, uh, train with, with, with these guys. And uh, it's definitely going to be a trip because uh, I know how that there is nothing but training and uh, mountains and then and i'll have a lot of time to to be by myself and think and and it's good man at the end of the day this is the fighter's life like people think you know it's it's it's, it's uh it's you know i don't know what people think about being a fighter sometimes but you know it really requires everything about yourself and mentally and physically so uh i think that's my next move that's the gym where khabib and islam train you're going out there yeah, I'll, I'll be between that gym and also Uncle Ives gym. Um, yeah, Uncle Ives is also like um, one of the top top guys at the light heavyweight division. Right. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. Do you think a lot of people are talking now that they think that Israel should get like a, an immediate rematch, and then a lot of people are saying they don't think he should because he lost, I think, 
maybe two out of his last three. You think he should get the immediate rematch or someone else should get it? Bro, like they always come at me hard because like they always tell you're stole to this and that. Bro, I just don't like this guy. Can I not like this guy? Bro, yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking like this guy. So I personally think that he doesn't deserve a fucking rematch. Why? I don't even think he wants a rematch. He felt like he like he's gonna lose again. Like he's he's gonna lose again. So I don't even think like he wants a rematch right now. And yeah, bro. I mean, like, let's see what Sean will do as a champ. You know, like, right. Uh, he shook up the division, and uh, yeah, I think I think you know. To be honest, I, I you know I I saw him one time. He's not my friend, whatever. But you know what is right is right, and I think. The place is on the line, and and, and um, he bought he 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 beat up like Whitaker the way he did. You cannot deny him fucking title shot, man. Way more than 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 Adesanya, and I think that's also a very good fight for Strickland to be honest. With you. you know, I know it's a business, so maybe Izzy will sell a lot of tickets, and I know he was the champion. But even from an unbiased perspective, like myself, I feel like he got the immediate rematch against Pereira. And that was just like a fight ago. So, you know, a lot of times people that are big champs will get the immediate rematch, but you very rarely see it twice in a row like that. So I, I do think if it weren't about the business and it were just about who deserves it, it probably would be cool to see Drickus and Sean have Izzy sit out or fight someone else. Cause there's a lot of, I mean, Jared's right there. You're right oh, there. Oh, fucking uh, Jared. Like, I mean, like, yeah, like, Jared too. I mean, like, no. Right. I mean, so. Yeah, like, let's let's see what happens. Like, like, yeah, like, same. Like, like, like I said, like, they will come at me for sure. Oh, you stole this and that. I think Adesanya's time is, you know, like, it's this it's over. Like, it's, it's past. Like, so we'll see, we'll see. But I don't think that that rematch would even sell. I, I don't know. I mean, but yeah, definitely, I, I would be way more excited to see. Uh, um, Strickland and Duplessis, or or even a rematch, Strickland and and and, and Kavanya. and down the road, who fucking knows? You know, like I'll be there. Like we we all, me and Strickland actually got offered to fight each other a while ago, but we talked to each other and we're like, well, we'll do it for, you know, eventually you'll have to give us a race because we wouldn't do it. We 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 would just do it for money basically. Yeah, uh, was, but over the title, we always knew like we, we, you know over the title, and. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Even today, I saw it was a bit weird. Like, but listen, it's his moment, and I, listen, it's 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 it is something great, and you cannot take him take it away from him. And and to be honest, I'm happy for him because at the end of the day, I know how hard he worked, how fucking crazy he is, and uh, yeah, man. I mean, listen, he got it himself. He he did it. He did it. How, how are you gonna fucking say anything about it? You said you saw him today, and I know you guys train together a lot. Like, what what was his vibe like today with the belt there? This guy, this guy is crazy. He came in and complained about some some bullshit. I'm like, I actually at the end of the training, yeah, like he came and I'm not gonna say what, but he he just some little shit. I said, bro, like, chill, bro, you're the champ. Are you like, come on, like, like, keep your mind big, you know. And this guy was just, I'm like, bro, you crazy. But yeah, Sean is Sean is not gonna change it. Listen, he's who he, he's who he is, and that's that's what made him a champ, you know. So whatever, you know, that's him. You think that he, because I, I, when he kind of gets into it, sometimes he's really funny, and I, I share his videos a lot, even before he was champ, just because I think they're funny, and I know everyone's gonna have an opinion. And one UFC fighter was like, "Oh, this guy's sharing Sean Strickland's video because he's trying to make him look bad," and I'm. I'm like, how do you know what I think about it? But also, you know, I think in some ways he's super smart. Like he'll say stuff that's super real and then he'll say stuff that's <laughs> yeah. super wild and funny. Like, do you think he's kind of got like a little troll in him where he likes to just kind of, you know, shake it up or that's just how he is? No, that's how he is. But like, um, you know, he really got no filter. And then he, he really saw that, you know, this, this, this kind of persona actually is really like, you know, they, they, they love it. And so he's pushing it a bit, but, but, yeah, bro. Like, if everybody would say whatever they we, we like goes through our mind without no filter, we would say some crazy shit at times. Right. But, um, but yeah, man, a lot of things he says is good. Like, and then I'm not. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm the kind of guy, and a lot of times I text him about things that I did. Like, even even in, before, like a while ago, it was he kind of like 
talk some kind of shit about me, but it wasn't like if you were if you would have listened the whole sentence, it wasn't really talking shit about me, but it was about my coaches. So uh first thing first, I text him, say, hey, like bro, like actually if you care about me and you want to say something, just tell it to my face. Um but um yeah, I mean he he's like this, you know, like he has no filter and then uh but he, a lot of things he, that he says like they they make sense and, and and a lot of them I agree with it, you know it's uh it's just nowadays even just saying some normal shit is actually controversial and a lot of times so uh you know like I like they they point at him like oh that's controversial bro he like I mean maybe the way he says it is a bit is, you know is a bit like extreme but the point is it's not controversial a lot of times it seems like he's kind of got a comedic aspect to it too because like if i'll listen to it and i'm not offended you know if i agree with it i agree if i disagree if i, I disagree i'm not the type to get offended so when i listen to it i start laughing hysterically because i'm like he's got very good comedic timing like he's he's pretty funny yeah 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 he's uh yeah yeah no he's, he's good <laughs> it's, it's funny yeah. so i guess uh with whitaker and duplessis what'd you think about that when that went down like what I think about a fight. Yeah, just in just in general, like that, when he when he knocked out Whitaker. Now that kind of that, switches it up a little. That was more. That was more shocking to me. Way more shocking than what happened between Adesanya and Strickland. That was way more shocking to me. Um, but yeah, man. Again, <laughs> when somebody that when somebody do it like that, like you can't say shit. Like it's just chapeau kind of thing, you know. Um, so. Good man, I think. I mean, I've I've fought Strickland. Uh, I fought Whitaker. Uh, um, fuck that man. He's not an easy fight. This guy's fucking. He's very good. So yeah. You you said you're trying to wait and just kind of sit back a little bit. How old are you now? I know you're you're the youngest out of everybody in that top six, right? By a decent amount. Maybe a little bit. Uh, I was young now, coming coming up there. But yeah, I'm actually turning thirty in a little bit. In right. like uh 10 days or nine days nine i days. guess i think drickus is pretty young but as far as like you're just gonna you're just gonna sit back and see like i guess maybe who they choose next what the matchups are and, the, and yeah, then try yeah. to come in yeah and, and by sitting back i'm not listen i'm just I, I have to force myself to sit back like that it's not easy for me like but i have to like just step out just for a second but yeah i mean i'm i'm, I'm and I don't know because you know, like you never fucking know in in this game. But um, I got you. Be choose. You're just gonna be choosy and like be strategic with it. Like not just rush into something, right? Kind of yeah, a little bit the right thing. Yeah, just 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 be a bit more like smart, <laughs> like something that I haven't been still now. And you know, it took me it took me a bit to understand it. It's, now it's time. It's about fucking time, I think. <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, but, you know, I'm looking at January, February, but you, you never know, you know, we'll see, you know, like opportunity come like, yeah, we'll see, you know, but ideally that's what I'm looking at. I saw you were in Italy for a while. I know you're from there. Like, how is that? Cause it seemed like you were there for a couple months. I, yeah, Italy is too much for life. So I gotta get out of there. Cause I'm like, the more I stay there, the harder it is to come back to the other two. But now I have to just um, find my, 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 you know, like, so since I was very young, I did, uh, uh, took a decision. I, I took a decision and I did, and I said like, okay, I'm going to just put everything, put everything aside. And I just follow my dream from the get go. Like even like when I was 19, I moved to London. It's funny because a lot of guys now at the PI, they, you know, we, we, we met again, like Amir, Javid, Far Farid, these guys, they're all like, I met them. We were together 10 years ago, London shoot. In, in in London and they knew like bro I was I was leaving almost in the street like, like I, I I came like it's it's crazy like my story is pretty crazy so I, yeah, I did I take a hear decision. It. If, you, if you tell if you want to tell it I would love to hear yeah well I mean just 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 the key like bro like like basically like uh, um I come from North Italy right uh even now 10, 10 almost almost like ten or twelve years after that I started like. Basically, right now I'm the only one in the UFC. So even now it hasn't even started properly in Italy, like uh, MMA. So imagine ten years ago, it was almost inexistent. Especially, I come from a small town, like five thousand people, up in the mountains in Italy. So it was just in my head. 
it was really just in my head. And I just uh, started training in a very in many different gyms. And after a, and after a year and a half, this is like by the end of high school, um, I was like, uh, you know, um, 16, 17 for, for a few years. And right, right the moment that I finished, I said, yeah, okay, yeah, you're training, you're, you're, you're busting your ass off because I was still like training twice a day. I was just like finish, finish school and just go and train different gyms because there wasn't really like an MMA gym. Um, but then I said, I have to take a decision here. I either going to like just find myself a job because I, I ain't earning money like that. Now I finished school. I have to figure something out. Uh, or I'm just dipping. And, 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 and since I'm dipping, uh, like, I mean, you know, like if I go down to Milan or if I go down to Rome or like, yeah, there is a bit more, but I know for a fact, I, I can't find a, a, myself a job either because Italy's hard like that. Like you're not, you don't really just find a job like, like part-time job that, you know, you can also train. It's almost impossible. And so I just went to London and like, bro, I have no money. I was crazy. Like I was just literally like, like sleeping on a couch and just like, and just like uh, we're going to like I, I was working as a bouncer, so I was just basically like, and I was nineteen working as a bouncer, so like, like in London, and uh, yeah, man, just showing up at the gym and uh, training plus a day, and then going back, and then uh, I mean Thursday, and then and from Thursday to Sunday just working as a bouncer, so uh, and just and 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 just like uh, uh, you know supporting myself like that, and so. And then like this for two years. And then I started coming to America. And then, you know, and then, and even then, you know, like, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I don't even, I, I don't even remember where, uh, from where we started, but that's, that, that's the first part, which I always say is that it was my hardest times back then. We were talking about you going back to Italy and like just staying there for a few months. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I said this because like, so I did take a decision from, uh, from, from that pretty early, but you know, now I was always like fighting and going back, fighting and going back. And now I just feel like I need to find, like, I have to stay here. Like, I have a plan for the next, you know, for, for the next years and uh, just have to apply it. And that's what I'm going to do, you know. So, yeah, so that that's the plan right now. What would you say to Izzy after the loss? Like, I know you don't like him, but, and it sounds like you're, and I like this about you, that you're so focused and you're so dedicated that your 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 eyes are on the prize. But when Strickland won, like, were you happy or was it just like, I want to be, I want to get that. I don't even care. No, no, no. I, I, was, I was actually happy. I was actually happy because like, how can you deny somebody that has been, bro, we, we literally like spend like tens of hours of sparring together like he used to drive sometimes from from vegas just to cali just to i mean he lives halfway in so i mean he you know whatever but he was like he was making a drive just to spar with me because i was in, in huntington beach and uh yeah man i mean we we, we have tens 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 of hours of sparring together and uh to see him just like uh um come up and do it um you know, like it's a bit, you know, it's a bit of a. I'm very like prideful, right? And uh, you know, it's a bit of a knock on myself because I'm like, fuck, he did what I what I couldn't do, but still, like, I'm happy for him because how can you deny somebody that you know? I I know for a fact he earned it. He earned it to the to the fullest. So it's just you know, it's just it's just another another example where like hard work pays off and. And that's it. Just you know, so I'm happy for him. If anybody, him, you know. Was it more satisfying seeing Sean win, being that he's a sparring partner and you guys have put in the work, or or seeing Izzy lose in that fashion? <laughs> nah, whatever, man. Like, I mean, it's, 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 listen, these are all bad stuff at the end of the day because we all have to, like, just be focused on ourselves, like, on our journey, right? Everybody has their own journey. Um, I was just, I mean, fuck, like, yeah, I mean, both. In a sense, both. It was, it was, a, it was mixed feelings. It was a bit weird, like, but listen, it's uh, it's good, man. I mean, like, 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 fighting is like highest of the highs and lowest of the low, you know. Like, uh, so it's you gotta embrace it. Anything else you wanted to mention? Like anything about the future now? Just what you're doing? A anything? The floor's open. Nah, bro. Just, 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 just stay tuned. Watch, and then you know, like, that's it. Like I. 
yeah, I, th I think I think another another chapter of my of my life in general and my career is is, is about to to start, and uh, I'm just excited and uh, yeah, man, just uh, try to embrace everything that comes, be a bit more like uh, <laughs> hippie because I was like not hippie, of course not hippie, but like fucking like you know like a bit more zen or like a bit like more like chilled with everything. I'm like too much. I've always had too much fucking, and that's a, that. Since I was a kid and growing up, I always, I mean, I started, I started fighting because I was always fighting. Like so, I'm like <laughs> let, let me put this into good, at least. And 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 uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to just uh, embrace it a bit more. And uh, so yeah, another chapter is about to start, and that's it. Just stay tuned and and watch me rise. You know. Yeah. How did you find my videos and stuff? Like, what year was it? Do you remember? Uh, no, it has to be like three, four years ago. But yeah, we're like, you, you got like some some, some real stuff. Uh, and um, yeah, man, you know, like, fuck, this guy is one of the few that just says the truth. So I'm like, you know, like you, you really go in and like look at everything. And um, and one thing that I liked about your video was, uh, videos, it was like, you just don't pick side. You just see what is good for if it comes from anybody and, 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 and just, even if somebody that you might not like to somebody good, you will say that. You know, you're not just you're not gonna be just biased just because somebody that normally you like will, will say something or vice versa. You know, and and that's how we should be the whole time. We should have like this kind of eye to 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 judge stuff. I appreciate it, and you can answer if you want. But I saw someone asking the question. They said, "Ask them about Trump or Biden." They're just curious of what you think about oh, this. Come on. <laughs> come on, bro! Come on! How are you gonna even? That's a, that's a, that's a Trump bro, all the way. Trump all the way, bro. Like who yeah. Biden, bro? Who are fucking Biden? What? He's too young for you? you? No, I'm just kidding. Just yeah. No, what, oh, what, shit. What don't you like about Biden? Luckily, luckily, I, I'm I'm also like uh, I might be a bit too old for him too because he likes a bit of a uh, young. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but are you? Because uh, I'm sure my audience will just be curious. Like you're definitely more. You think like the conservative side, and a lot of fighters are conservative because it's just more like honest and it's kind of it's not like uh, politically correct. Yeah, for bro, I just because. Uh, I, um, you know, with the uh, the UFC leaves us uh, a bit of, like way more freedom than than other uh, um, organization to speak our minds, and and bro, also the UFC is one of those things like you don't, you just don't get like like ten mil from one day to another. Like you have to earn everything, and this kind of mindset is like you know like it will make you it will, it will... ah damn. Well, darn it. That sucks. Ho hopefully he'll pop back in real quick. His uh, his stream cut out. I'll give him like a couple minutes to come back. And uh, if he does, we'll let him finish his thought. If not, we'll, we'll wrap it up. But for those who don't know, while he's coming back, hopefully he could click the link again. Maybe his internet cut out. That is Marvin Vittori, the Italian dream. Great fighter. And uh, I'm always watching his fights. So let's see if he, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, darn it. I wanted to see what he was saying. So we'll give him a minute or two to come back. And uh, for those who just joined and were wondering what we were talking about, you know, he's in the middleweight division and he's top six right now. Sean Strickland just had one of the biggest upsets in middleweight history against Israel, the last style bender at Asanya. And uh, I think the odds were six, seven, or eight to one. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people did not expect that, but Marvin is, uh, uh, he trains with Sean Strickland. I know they spar a lot. I think they go to the same gym, maybe possibly share, share similar coaches. So that's what we were talking about. Uh, I wanted to get that thought, but we'll, we'll, we'll stall for a little bit. And if not, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up if he can't get back. Someone said, did you see Strickland's podcast on Full Send? I didn't listen to the whole thing, but I do know that he was kind of going at them for being degenerates. That was pretty interesting. Someone said the sportsmanship between Izzy and Strickland was an awesome display of humanity. I loved it. It was an incredible moment. It was a wild fight. And uh, someone said more MMA interviews. I'd love to do that. Absolutely. Um, I'll definitely do that. I know it's an interesting transition because a lot of people are unfamiliar with it in my audience, but... I do a lot of videos. Everybody doesn't have to watch every single one. And uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of UFC. So 
I'll just give you guys a background and, and give him a couple minutes to come back. And if he if he can't, it's all good. Um, I started becoming a big mixed martial arts fans over the last couple of years. I knew the basics of it, like McGregor, Khabib. I'd watched a few, Anderson Silva. But I really became a super fan during the lockdown. I think it was a combination of other sports being closed and the fact that I realized that you know a lot of fighters speak out. They say what they believe, whether you agree with it or not. It's not a fake. You don't get fined for saying little things like you do in other leagues. So I started really liking not just the fighting aspect of it, but in when you're watching NFL and they're crying and apologizing and it's just like it's cringe you know everything's sponsored by Pfizer Moderna it's just so annoying so I I just really got into MMA UFC and once I did I started realizing that a lot of fighters were following me that I'd really liked and years prior I wasn't that familiar with the sport but once I started getting into it I was like man I love this stuff these people speak freely so we've had on you know, Holly Holm has come on, but Neil Dariush. Now we have had Marvin Vittori. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've had anyone else. I got a lot of friends in the sport and I plan to do more interviews in that space. Sometimes for those who are still here and, and listening, I will probably do like a, a, a crossover because I never want to have a gotcha moment and just ask them a political question. But oh, Marvin's back. But if they're willing to talk. Yes, sir. All right. I, I was stopped. It, it, back. It, no worries. It died on me. The, the phone died on me. Hopefully it doesn't die again. It's all good. Do you remember what you were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, but it's not on anymore. Let me see. Okay, we can hear you. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. All right. Um, yeah, I think, you know, earning everything kind of brings you to the more like to the to the right side a little bit, you know, than because uh, nobody nobody's given to us, you know. First a little that, and then... Uh, and then, bro, these all out of like these all like politically correct, politically correct stuff and LGBTQ, whatever letter you want to put it. Like these old stuff, it's it's too much. It's getting too far away. Like the ADL stuff is like it's it's getting it's getting way too far. I think, and um, and just by common sense, bro, we should we should. I mean, I mean, I speak for myself too. I just just by just by being by you know just 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 because of common sense i would just pick you know trump over these other guys but right yeah wh what do you think about all that like do you think most fighters agree and I, I i've always thought that a lot of athletes agree but they're afraid in other leagues but dana lets people do whatever but also just something about fighting so real because you know at the end of the day you're in the cage and what happens happens it doesn't matter what race you are right it doesn't matter what your opinions are does it feel like most people agree, like, you know, in the MMA world? I don't know, bro. Like, uh, to be honest, I don't know. There, there are people from so multicultural, too. Like, you know, you got, you got, you got people from, from everywhere, you know. But I believe uh, people from America, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Like, you, you'd be surprised by how many people still support the other side. Right? Like, it's like, so, I don't know. But I, I can speak for myself, bro, at the end of the day. I wanted and to ask, oh yeah, with the with the stuff that's going on, like the left going so far in America, is that happening at the same speed in Italy, or is it, or is no, it a different dynamic? Italy now they they just elected um, uh, Giorgia Meloni, which is uh, she was uh, on the right side, like um, yeah, bro. But even like you know, she just promote like you know like uh, uh, like family values and and and, and stuff like this and. They, they call her like fascist, this and that. Well, it's like basic, basic normal things. Like 10 years ago, this would have been like just just very normal to talk about this. It's just, uh, yeah. Is the Italian press as bad as the American press? Like, do they, do they make her look bad the same way as the American press does with Trump or no? No, no. She got elected at least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they, they're trying to, but... You know, they make Trump look very bad, bro. If you talk about Trump in Italy, they, they roast you. Like, they're like, ah, oh, like, and it's just, they're, there's not even a point to just argue with them. But, um, yeah, they're roasting Trump really bad. Like, if, if it seems like if you if you talk about Trump in Italy, you're crazy, basically. He, like, he's just a businessman that, that like, we had a guy who could who could have been, like, relate, like, um, Similar in a way to like our uh, like our Italian Trump, it was Berlusconi, 
but he just actually recently died. Uh, Silvio Berlusconi, I don't know if you ever heard of him. He was an, you know, he was a historical businessman that then turned into politics, and um, he was a good friend with Putin, actually. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna go. Where you know where we're gonna end up. It's kind of sad with America because I know we have flaws, but it is a great place. It's a land of opportunity. Like I know you came here, made your dreams come true, and you're still just crushing. But, you know, our own media will blast out to the rest of the world how bad we are. And I think that's why Italy, Germany, all these countries, they, they look at Trump like you have 100 heads because the, the, our own media is telling the world that. Yeah, like, basically. That's yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. The whole Europe, it's basically a reflection of what goes on like in terms of even of terms of media or what goes on in in america so it is like that and uh yeah yeah it, it is like that for now well i mean i don't know what do you think is gonna happen you think they were saying that somebody may be gonna represent trump but or do you think trump will be able to uh, to still like uh uh you know like uh, run for run for like run for like uh for president basically i think it'll be all right but i mean it is crazy all the charges you know it, it comes down to judges at the end of the day so who's the judge who's the trial is it going to make it there does the supreme court step in i'm not really good at law with legal stuff but i know they're throwing the kitchen sink at him i think he's going to win the primary and i think it helped him with republicans but I feel like they, the Democrats, see Trump as someone that's familiar. The, the same way that people in Italy, like you're saying, a lot of them are like, oh, he's bad because that's what I've heard. It's almost like they've thrown so much at him. I think they think that he's someone that they've figured out how to beat because they push so much, uh, uh, you know, I would say branding on him. So I think he's going to I think Trump's going to win the Republican primary. But then him versus Biden, it's going to be a battle of perception, right? The, the media is going to say all the bad things about Trump. They're going to tell people that, that you want abortion and LGBTQ rights and climate change. And then the right's going to point to Biden and be like, he's a thousand years old. He's falling asleep. Uh, you know, the guy yeah, yeah. losing his mind. And then it comes down to what people think. Because like you said, as much as I do think a lot of people are waking up, I drive through some neighborhoods and and some people, you know, they, they haven't woken up. And it's like, dang, I, it's hard to tell what, what's real because I, I kind of live in my own reality. I do it. I, I hang out where I want to hang out. I'm not like touring the country or anything, but it's hard to tell what people are going to do. Um, I, I hope that it's not four more years of Biden for sure. Yep. Well, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah would you ever uh i mean I, people always ask me this and i was like i don't want to but like in italy or anything or even would you ever be interested later in life being a politician like sometimes ukrainian fighters they go back to ukraine they serve many yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe I, I know a lot of politicians um i don't know it's like like everything it's a career right like i don't know um i don't know to be honest i haven't thought about it i just don't want to be like if i get in politics i want to like i just don't want to like taking money of, of like of, of who pays like of all the people that pays for for the government and just don't do anything to just be there and just take a few like, you know money for nothing so if uh, if i get in there it's because i want to be active but um we'll see i don't know to be honest it's, it's a bit too far do they show you love in italy like the politicians out there and the, the people yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they do yeah uh, especially, uh, you know, like all these organizations, like uh, uh, young organization for, for, for sport and stuff like this. To be honest, institutionally, like Italy for fighting is, is a bit behind. I'm not going to lie. Right. It's very behind. But, um, you know, by being in certain places, I, I got to know a lot of people. And yeah, man, I mean, like, because I got, I got, you know, like more popular uh, uh, on, 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 on Instagram that I'm on TV in in Italy, like barely they 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 actually like you know, fighting is a bit behind in Italy, like I said. So I got I got more popular on social media, so people come up and like they they show me respect, but it's not really like institutionally they call me places, you know. And so yeah, man. I mean, do you think it's because they like care about soccer more and stuff like that? Like it's it, they're pushing soccer. Yeah, for soccer. sure. Yeah 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 for sure for sure it's like uh yeah european football um you know um 
Yeah, that that's definitely the, the first tennis a little bit like you know like yeah yeah the fighting is it didn't didn't take off yet it, you know I'll uh, it will by by the time that I'm done it will but right um, not yet not yet. Yeah, it seems like it's getting big in Australia and France. Obviously, America. Um, oh, for sure. Know, yeah. I guess last question before you leave. Someone wrote it. I thought it was an interesting question. I know I know you guys spar and stuff, but, you know, you versus Strickland, do you think it's ever going to happen, uh, even though you guys, you know, train together and stuff? And uh, do you think you'd beat them? Uh, if it happens, it has to be for the title. I don't think we would fight it if, unless it is for the title. Um. Um, he actually came out one time and he told me he had a dream where like we fight for the title and, and I take the title from him and he, he was almost crying, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I, tears of joy. He has this moment. It's a bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, so if it does happen, it, it happens for the title. Uh, uh, listen, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's always, it, it, this guy's always game, you know, like you you can edge around. But then it, it, it's very close, you know, like we all live in our head. I might thought I, I edged it, he, he thought I, he edged it. I had moments here, like, you know, like he's definitely a very good fight. I, you know, like, of course, if I go, I'll be confident I can do it. But he's not, right. it's definitely not going to be an easy fight. He's, he's game as hell. He's, and he, he knows me very well. I know him very well, you know, he, but it's going to be a crazy story. It's going to be like a hell of a, like, hell of a fight, crazy story, crazy everything. And, yeah, I mean, if it does happen, it's going to be amazing. Uh, if it doesn't, then, you know, I just wish him the best as a, as a champ, and we'll see what happens. You know? I appreciate you coming on, and everybody follow him on Instagram, Marvin Vittori. Uh, check him out on all social media, show love, and when he when he fights, make sure you tune in and root for the Italian dream. I always do, and uh, I appreciate you coming on, my man. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching.